and welcome. I am Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining the player. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please remember, go around to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. Y'all check out a few things. Subscribe to the website. If you would like to support a player around here, you can get some for you and them little ugly ass babies by clicking the gear link on the website. If you'd like to see what we call the event video, click around to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. The link is down there in the description. I need you liking, sharing, telling somebody about a player. We try to get the thumbs up over 500 in every show so we can do something to the algorithm. Listen, we got a PayPal link down in the description. We got dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, top and bottom. Willie Williams Show, that is the cash app. And if you just so happen to happen to hit that super chat, please don't go over $5 because the player don't know if he getting it or not. They say I get 30. They say that they get 70. God damn it, I think they getting the whole honey. Remember, the midday news show, if you can't watch it with your eyes and you can't use your peripherals and see a player, big word, I hear any goddamn screen. We do got a thing called a podcast on Anchor and Spotify, the Willie Williams Show. Please follow me on IG and Twitter at the WW Show. Appreciate y'all. Oh, appreciate y'all. I'm trying to get my stuff together. My dog on thing coming off. I had my other thing on. Let me fix myself. Woo, let it all hang out. Let it all hang. All right, how's we doing on this wonderful Thursday? Today is Thursday. Ain't it? it is Thursday. We almost there. We almost there. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get some things out the way. Trying to get some of these things out the way. Bam, bam, bam. Do that. Do that. Pop that. We right with. There it is. How y'all doing? I'm Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining me. This is the Willie Williams Show. This is the midday news show around here in the dog on street. Y'all share, share, share. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Tell somebody about the player. We also screaming live over there on Twitch. Twitch.tv.com. The Willie Williams Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Matter of fact, I got to slide this back up and click that off so I can put that. With right there, got that right there. Bam, bam, bam. Shout out to Phyllis for the one on the cash shop. Say, heard Miss Shirley last night. Say, God is good. Love you, Willie. Love you back. Appreciate that right there. Shout out to Miss Shirley out here. I hope that you're feeling well, baby. For real, for real. Man, this is a wonderful day. Because we're still alive. We're still alive. It can go good. It can go bad. But as far as right at this moment... It's a wonderful day, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Memphis, Tennessee, the 901 is up in this thing. What to do, what to do. Say the Bronx, New York is in the bitch. Say what popping past the leg of these 30 minutes of fire. What's happening? What's happening? I see 74. I see 74. I think that we can do better. Say the 281. H-Time is up in this thing. Say salute Detroit up in the building. You say rest in peace to OJ Simpson. You lying to me. You was lying to me. OJ ain't dead. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Do not do this to me. OJ dead. Yeah. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. God damn, dog. Why ain't nobody had done told me? Why ain't nobody had done told me? Wow. Whoa. I ain't know. I didn't know. Hold up. Got to be more careful. That that just throw the, uh, the damn it. It throw the whole wrench into the monkey or the monkey into the wrench. It's one of them. I didn't dog on street. I did not know OJ died. OJ dies at the age of 76 after battling with cancer. I ain't need much no. He Ain't nobody tell me he had cancer. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're going on and see a few things about it. I see 90. I see 90. What is we doing? What is we doing? Come on, come on now. I do I do understand that the um thumbs up they do not go out all the time. But y'all know where to come on around um and check on your peoples out here. Do not be a stranger. Do not be a stranger. Shout out to Miss Redbone for the two dollar cash app. Say Today is my granddaughter's tenth birthday. Shout out to your granddaughter. Happy birthday to your granddaughter. I know that she gonna have a good little time. I know that the adults is gonna really, really celebrate. For her today, let her enjoy her doggone day. She ain't gonna get no whoopings or none of that right there. She's gonna be able to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy after she got out of school. If she went to school, you know, because a lot of times we like to take off for our birthday or something like that right there. But then again, us parents, we like to send them on to school. And then once they get out of school, we can go ahead on to celebrate. Gradu um, congratulations to your granddaughter. She's still alive. Boy, she's still alive. A lot of them ain't making it. A lot of them is not making it, and I wish her more years to come. That's what's up, man. Bam, got that, do that, pop that, slide that. 
appreciate that. That's what's up. Um, Texas up in the building. Arkansas is up in this thing. North Carolina is in the building. Come on in, say the 281 Houston, Texas. Say, hey, Willie and Chad. Well, hey, that in. Shout out to Chris for the $5 cash out. I appreciate that right there. Oakland, California is in the building. Give y'all a pat on the back. Y'all made it over 100 by 08. Appreciate that show enough do show enough do thank y'all it, 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 it sounds to me like y'all want to go in on and get into some news out here in these creep mm, we got some breaking news we got some breaking news this shit just done got bad out here in dalton we're gonna talk about it in just a smidgen the 334 the gun monkey town is up in the middle of the 510 Oakland, Oakland, california checking on in for do that what that do what that do he said my friend's husband and oj simpson died today wow Oh man, tell your husband my my condolences out here. Um, no, no, you say my friends. Hug, tell your friends my condolences out here. Man, we be going through a little something, y'all. And this is why. This is why it's so important to understand and respect. I guess that you still alive. If you want to be alive, if you still alive, bam, you want to be alive. That is great. That is a blessing. Just in my mind, you don't have to believe in blessings. I don't. I, I don't uh, it's it's a blessing. We just gonna leave it right there. They say, um he say, Y'all will really it do with my story? Say thank you with your fine chocolate ad. I appreciate that right there. I say what up, um Charlotte, North Carolina's in the building. Say first live chat. I appreciate you being around here. You done made it, you done made it. They say boot tube didn't send out my freaking notification, dog. They be out here tripping. They be out here hating for real, for real. Detroit is in the building. What it do, what it do. Got to be more careful. Memphis, Tennessee, the 901 is up in the building. You say, um, no, my friend's husband who had lung can who had lung cancer. That's a hell of a way to go, man. It's really hell well, I get I guess anyway is a hell of a way to go because the end result is death. So <sighs> Man, man, man. Say, hey, Willie Sugar from, from, from the 757 up in this thing. I didn't even know about OJ, man. Wow, wow, wow. That's what's up. Well, listen, you know what else be strange, though? We be acting shocked, though. We we truly be acting shocked when, like, older people die. I, now that I'm thinking about it, because I be acting shocked sometimes, too. Just like I was just acting shocked, like, oh man, OJ, he's 76, and I'm shocked that he did. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I guess I'm just more or less shocked that I didn't know. Like, I'm supposed to know this news. He said, I was, I was 42 yesterday, still, I still let him today. That's what's up. Shout out to you being the same age out here in these streets a day after the 757 is in the building. What to do? Sugarland, Texas up in the field, dad. Come on in, say hashtag. Will it say hush out here in these dog on the street? Y'all finna go ahead on and get on into a little something, man, because I saw it's a lot of news out here. It's a lot of news out here, and we're gonna see what we can do. We got, got to be more careful. Bam, I got to do that. Do that, slide that. Um, I guess we can start here. I get, yeah, 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 yeah. Got to be more careful. Oh, we got a beautiful baby right here in these screen. I'm finna show y'all this beautiful baby. Oh, wait, right there. Bam, hold it, pause, pause it, hold it, hold it, hold strong. Whew. Let's go ahead on and get into it. Um, look at, look at, look at, look at. We have a mother. It's, damn it, we always got, always got. We always got a mama crying and going through it and pleading for help and trying to find answers and all that for like shit. This is an everyday thing, everyday thing. But a mother responds to a 17-year-old son who was charged in the downtown Indiana or Indy mass shooting. The mother of the shooter in Indiana downtown finna go ahead on to say something. She finna go ahead on to speak out. <laughs> Tell your truth, baby. Tell, speak, speak your truth. Go ahead. He didn't go downtown for no commotion. Mm -hmm. He went to have a good time. That's I don't know what's on her tongue. Commotion. He went to have a good time. Is that um is that like y'all supposed to have like those tongue rings or diamonds or something like that inside your tongue and when you take them out they be black? I don't know. He went to have a good time. That's the mother of the 17-year-old who's charged in the mass shooting here in downtown Indianapolis, talking exclusively today 
with 13 News. Mm -mm -mm. Her son tonight is facing charges for the shooting that injured seven kids between the age of 12 and 16. Our Gina Galero spoke exclusively to the suspect's mom. Her position is that her son prevented more people from getting hurt. He can go down uh, for problems. King Dennis was emotional in front of a judge inside the community justice campus. His mother tells me that he was defending himself and those victims the night of March 30th. Oh, no, this is crazy. Yeah, really Holly Dennis wipes away tears outside the courtroom after seeing her 17 year old son in inmate clothes being mm. tried as an adult. He's not a monster. No. He's very smart and intelligent. He's very respectful. Police say this is King Dennis on surveillance video pointing and shooting a gun near West Maryland and South Illinois streets. Mm. Court documents say Dennis was one of two people arrested at the scene and later released for fighting with police. My mm. son was walking away from the crowd. His mother telling her perspective to 13 News. She says she watched the video and it doesn't show the whole story. The people started shooting first. King let off twice and that's when the shooting Stop. 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 She said stop. She said that's not what happened. She saw the video and that wasn't the whole story. Did you see the whole story or is that what your son told you? Anna says her son didn't know the person who pulled the trigger first or why. If he was in the room, why did he go back to the scene? Why didn't he just keep going? People do that sometimes. Sure. My Go son ahead. was only defending himself and coming back to the scene to make sure that everyone was okay that he went down there with. Dennis says her son fired those shots with someone else's gun. Mm. The prosecutor says Dennis will be tried as an adult because he has a prior conviction for dangerous possession of a handgun. Wait, wait, wait. So he not even supposed to have somebody else's gun. He got a prior conviction for a gun. Got it. Go, go ahead, baby. I feel as though that his juvenile past mm -hmm. should not affect him. Holly Den well, Wait, what? His juvenile past should not affect him. She do know that he's still a juvenile. <laughs> I just want y'all to understand. I feel as though his juvenile past shouldn't affect him. He's still that. It's not like a past past thing. I don't. I wonder what year he was charged. As Dennis will be tried as an adult because he has a prior conviction for dangerous possession of a handgun. I feel as though that his juvenile past. Yeah, right. He's 17. He can't even have a He can't even legally own a gun. Should not affect him. This is why everybody shouldn't be parents. This is why everybody shouldn't be parents. Everybody shouldn't be talking. Holly Dennis hasn't spoken to the victims or their parents, but says her son was trying to protect the people in the crowd, not hurt them. So it could have been many, many more kids and civilians dead if my son would not let them two bullets off. The bond for... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, she's trying to play it as if, okay, somebody was shooting, and then he decided to shoot to stop the person from shooting. That's how she that's how she trying to argue. Villains dead if my son would not let them two bullets off. So you saying that your son is a hero. On for Dennis is set at $25,000 if he's released, he'll be on home detention with GPS monitoring and he can't go anywhere near the shooting scene. Reporting at the Community Justice Campus, Gina Galeros, 13 News. Now, no one died in that shooting. Dennis oh. is charged with dangerous possession of a firearm and two counts of criminal recklessness. He entered a not guilty plea. We've been reaching out to the victims and their families, and we'll be sharing their stories when we hear back from them. In the meantime, you can find reason. Shout out to the good mama, though, for standing up for her baby. Shout, shout out to the mom for standing no, up no, no. for her baby. He ain't mean no harm. Shout out to T. Lee for the $2 super chat. They say, my son didn't do nothing or didn't do anything. Shaking my head. Yes, they sons, and, um, they, they typically never do anything. They never do nothing. Why is he? He shot, then he left the scene, but he came back to go on to check on the people who had done came around there with. Why is he around people who have firearms? Notice the person who had the gun didn't shoot 
He grabbed the gun and shot. Didn't hit nothing. So that's reckless shooting, um, endangering people, right? Reckless releasing of a gun or something like that right there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's a difference in my mind if he would have shot up in the air like, boom, boom, cut it out, stop shooting. Stuff like that right there. That baby say, um, if it wasn't for him, it would have been a massacre down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he is a, damn it, what is that term? A vigilante or something like that? Mm -hmm. He's trying to save some lives. He's trying to save some lives. Let me, uh, here, it's 20 past the hour. If y'all just not coming on in, we also streaming live on twitch.tv.com, the Willie Williams Show. Appreciate that right there. You say, what's in her throat? I, damn it, I was thinking the same thing. I was I was trying to figure out. Sometimes it be fruits. I don't, mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all play too much. Sometimes it may be like fruits. I don't. Apples and oranges and shit. They say that we gotta um eat our fruits and you know what I'm saying? Fruits and veggies, fruits and veggies. That's what we supposed to do, right? Like a pear or something, like a I don't mm, I guess so we supposed to chew before we swallow. Um digestion starts in the mouth. Digestion starts in the mouth. We gotta break that stuff down before we allow it to get to the to to our throat. Or not to our throat, but in our throats. We got to be careful. Y'all, they going around here to Dalton. I, I don't even much want to hold you. I don't even much want to hold you. We got breaking news out here in these doggone streets, man. Hold on. Let me grab it. Bam. Got that. Pop that. Hold on. Let me put this beautiful baby up on the screen. Got to put our beautiful sister up that y'all trying to destroy. Y'all trying to destroy our sister. And I still don't appreciate that right there. For real, for real. Shout out to Simone. For the $1 cash app, you say her son hugs her from behind when she cooks. <laughs> that's what's up. Hold on. Road trip? Somebody text me a road. Oh. Oh, that's Walmart. Shout out to Walmart. Walmart is in real competition with Amazon. Listen, when the last time that y'all order something from Walmart? Walmart getting quick on it now, dog. I, I don't... Mm. Mm-hmm. They're trying to keep me as a customer. Um, damn it, I ordered some last night, and they say it's on the way. Like, dog, I thought it was going to be like two, three days, something like that right there. Shout out to Sensei for the $5 super chat. He says, shooting in the air while yelling, stop shooting. That's funny, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because they say that, um, she said that he was trying to prevent a mass casualty out there in the doggone street. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Walmart though, dog. They, they, I literally ordered something. It was around about 11 o'clock. They say it's around the corner. I'm like, you lying to me. You was lying to me. Just leave it outside and leave it outside and text me. And they do that right there too. When they drop the stuff off, they text you. I'd be like, oh man. Shout out to Walmart though. Bam, let's go around here to Dalton the way they're trying to destroy um, our darker hue sister, super, super, super duper mayor. Super duper mayor Tiffany Henya. You got to love that baby. Now, listen, we have been speaking about the situation out there in, 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 in Dalton with the, with the mayor. We've been speaking about this right here. Um, she's been in the news forever. It seems like forever. So we just going to keep on talking about it because she is news. Like, uh, uh, a few weeks ago, maybe some months ago, a month or something ago, um, there was a ex employee who came out and who had accusations about she had done been sexually assaulted when they was on a, a trip out to Las Vegas. She said that one of the people who they was on the trip with sexually assaulted her and only a certain amount of people who had done went on the doggone trip so it had eliminated a lot of people you know what i'm saying i would have never thought that the accusation would have landed on the activists the activists who we have been seeing out here for years out here in these doggone streets activist andrew holmes has been accused of sexual assault on vacay out in lv Damn, they finally said it. Hit man, look here, man. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, wait. Make sure I got that right. Yeah. 
This one here got to play first. Go eat. The Christian New Fallout tonight to a story we've been following closely out of South Suburban Dalton. Mayor Tiffany Henyard's former assistant and a Dalton police officer have both filed a civil lawsuit against the mayor and trustee Andrew Holmes. Mm. Much of that lawsuit centered on what allegedly happened on a business trip. He's been in multiple, multiple um, news clips when people is out here dying over the years. He has been putting in work in them streets. Trip to Las Vegas last May. Mm. Mm -hmm. NBC Vice's Regina Waldrop has spent six months trying to track down this story. She has a closer look at the new complaint. Mm. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, trustee Andrew Holmes, both now the focus of a civil lawsuit. Everybody that's named in this law lawsuit should resign from their position immediately. Shout out to, the, damn it, is her name Tammy? Shout out to Tammy for having her real. Resign from their position immediately. The lawsuit was filed by two people, Henyard's former assistant and Dalton police officer Byron Miles. It accuses Holmes of assault and battery and Henyard of retaliation. The incident allegedly occurred during and after an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. On that trip, Henyard and a handful of village and Thornton Township reps, including her former assistant and trustee Holmes, NBC is choosing not to name the woman. According to the complaint, the woman felt disoriented, lightheaded, and ultimately blacked out after dinner with Holmes. She woke up in the trustee's bedroom physically uncomfortable and with no memory of how she got there. They'd never be remembered. What is this drug that's being used? Because a lot of people say that, um, well, I've heard that, the drug is similar to what Puffy is out here using or at his parties is being used. The complaint details a conversation between she and Officer Byron Miles when they returned from Las Vegas. A member of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, Officer Miles in the complaint, informed the woman that the trustee told him he had unprotected sex with her in Vegas. Mm. Officer Miles advised the woman to seek medical care. According to the complaint, when the woman met with Henyard to tell her about what allegedly happened, Henyard told her if the information got out, she would be ruined and all the work she'd done would be lost. She then claims Henyard told her that she would take care of her. I still don't understand that right there. She said that if this gets out, that this happened on this trip, that it would destroy everything that I have built and all of the progress that we had to make. I like I said in the beginning when I first heard it that don't make no damn sense the community will still support you as a darker you sister it's the man who is the problem um, who has been accused of sexual assault the community will still ride with you as a mayor I didn't understand like it would destroy everything that I built and that that worked for that didn't make no damn sense. If the information got out, she would be ruined and all the work she'd done would be lost. She then claims Henyard told her that she would take care of it and that the woman should trust her. The woman claims she was later put on unpaid medical leave and later terminated. Miles claims he was removed from the mayor's security detail and returned to patrol duty and faced a number of retaliatory actions later on for coming forward as a witness to what he believed was either sexual harassment, exploitation of a woman. An attorney for Holmes told us he has no comment on the lawsuit. And Monday night so you mean to tell me that Holmes reached out to the player who was on the detail and told him, you know I just smashed last night. <laughs> you know I just hit. <laughs> That's village board meeting, four Dalton trustees Ooh. appointed Lori Lightfoot, Chicago's former mayor and a former federal prosecutor, as a special investigator to look into the Vegas trip and other allegations being made against the mayor. Shout out to Lori Lightfoot being on the case. At the Yo. conclusion of this investigation, I will provide an assessment of the findings and the recommendations, and I welcome and urge the full cooperation by Mayor Henyard, her staff, all village trustees. The village told us in a statement it's imperative that any third party council hired by trustees fully comply with legislative ordinance standards. At this stage, they do not meet these standards. That's a good point. The infamous Vegas trip that she didn't want to answer the questions um, that the reporter had asked her. I don't know if any of you all remember we played that right there. The reporter asked her questions about Vegas. She said, uh, she was just about to answer this. She say. I forgot her answer, but damn it, she damn it, she stopped in mid sentence. She was like, "I'm," and she just stopped talking. I say, "That's what's up." That may be smart. Both the woman and Officer Miles have filed complaints with the Illinois Department of Human Rights. According to the lawsuit, they are seeking back pay, front pay, punitive damages, and also attorney's fees. Back pay, front pay, a, a, a punitive and and attorney fees. We need it all, sugar.
We need everything. Damn, we done been fired. We done been demoted. Oh, hell no. Y'all go ahead on and get that paper out here in these streets. Bam, we got another one. Wait, wait, wait. Slow me down. Slow me down. Now, this one here is more in detail about what what the person say that Andrew, what, what a person says that Andrew Holmes had done did when he was out and about on vacay smash and here we go don andrew holmes has been a familiar face in chicago for many years for his work as a community activist helping crime victims and police but now holmes is being accused of sexual assault in a lawsuit filed late last night by a former employee of the village of dalton and a dalton police officer in addition to his work as a community activist, Holmes serves as a trustee for the Village of Dalton. The civil lawsuit against the Village of Dalton, Thornton Township, Tiffany Henyard, and Holmes himself alleges that Holmes sexually assaulted a Dalton Village employee while on a village business trip to Las Vegas in May of 2023. According to the lawsuit, the employee had drinks with Holmes, whom she thought of as an uncle. That uncle. Uncle Andrew. <laughs> Shout out to Unc and passed out in Holmes' hotel room. The lawsuit alleged... Yeah, right, you should be comfortable enough to drink too much and, you know, pass out at Unc house, right? You should be able to. I don't, I don't, I don't see the problem. Of, ...as an uncle, then passed out in Holmes' hotel room. The lawsuit alleges Holmes then called Dalton Police Chief Byron Miles, who was on the trip as part of Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard's security detail. According to the lawsuit, quote, Holmes began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, Trustee Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee. So, so Holmes contacted what he believed was his partner. You know what I'm saying? Partner in crime, something like that right there. Boy, you ain't gonna believe what just said to him, boy. Woo, woo, she put down. I I put down, damn it, I popped that vibe. I still got my stroke, you know what I'm saying? I'm stroking away. She had a good time, though. Look at her. At some point during his rant, Trusty Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee. And there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone call and FaceTimed Holmes. So they said that the phone call was recorded. That's what they just said, right? Or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone Officer Miles, yeah, Miles, Miles began recording the call and FaceTimed Holmes. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward the bed where Officer Miles could see a woman who was partially undressed. Ooh. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen and at times moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. Mm. Got that baby, she passed out on the bed or she sleep. She sleep on the bed. Showing that monkey, showing them breasts, you know what I'm saying? Showing the six pack or the flat tummy, or maybe showing the booty if she was like at an angle or something like that right there. And hell, if um if that part of the body it was not um clear and uncovered, he uncovered it. That's what's up. That damn it, this is what we do. We show our partner stuff. But go ahead. Else could see a woman who was partially undressed. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen, and at times moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. Notice, they said, he began recording. So this should all be recorded. The lawsuit alleges when the woman woke up, she couldn't remember anything that happened the night before and was not aware of the alleged assault until informed by Officer Miles when they returned to Dalton. She was informed by Officer Miles. Officer Miles told her once they got back to Dalton, that got back to Chicago, he didn't inform her in Vegas. Waited all the way till they got back around there. Hold on. The lawsuit alleges that when the female employee became aware of what allegedly happened, she requested to speak to Mayor Henyard. Henyard allegedly... So, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. When she found out what happened, she wanted to speak to Mayor Henyard. Why wouldn't you just go to the damn police? Oh, the officer was the police. 
Got it. He told the woman, quote, if the information got out, Haggard would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. Despite assurances that Henyard would handle the situation. Look at that beautiful baby. You cannot tell me that that is not a beautiful dog. He's sister right there. Assurances look, 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 that. Look at that baby. Baby, a soldier out here. Look at that. Henyard would handle the situation. The lawsuit alleges the female employee was eventually fired by the village of Dalton. Officer Miles alleges his duties were diminished and he faced retaliation at work. We spoke briefly to Holmes this afternoon, who said he had, quote, no response at this time, not to these allegations. I'm not bothered by it. I ain't bothered. He sounds like a woman. I, I ain't bothered. Mm-mm. They say, Willie, are they going to show the video as evidence? I need to go to court. I need to go to the court if they're going to, you know, present evidence, you know. He said, that's a trans woman. Oh, man. He said, Willie, he couldn't help himself, and the meds done kicked in. Listen. Unk, Unk was supposed to restrain himself if if this is true, you know. He was supposed to restrain himself because she looked at him as Unk, not as somebody sexual. Las Vegas police have reportedly launched an investigation into the allegations. The lawsuit accuses Henyard, the village of Dalton, and Thornton Township, where Henyard's supervisor, of attempting to cover up the alleged assault and retaliating against the employees for reporting it. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot has been hired by the four trustees who oppose Henyard to conduct an investigation into corruption in Dalton, including now these allegations surrounding Andrew Holmes. Don I got an issue. I got a whole issue. Once, once she was informed what took place, once Officer Mills, Miles, Miles, Told her, listen, 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 listen. Unk done showed me some videos. I saw you everything, baby. And you're looking good now. I ain't, I ain't really tripping. I thought that it was a BBL, but it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Um, He had to show me some things, and y'all out here hunching. Hell, maybe Officer Miles was jealous. Maybe Officer Miles wanted to smash her, and she pro probably wasn't giving him the time of day. So... He could not understand how Unk was able to smash and he won. It's a possibility. I'm just throwing out something. You know what I'm saying? So that is probably what what motivated him to go ahead on and snitch and or tail. Mm. But Officer Miles was also fired. He was demoted, fired, let go. I sure enough hope he still got that dog on tape. Y'all supposed to always keep your recordings. Keep y'all dog on recordings. I'm just trying to tell you something. Keep it recordings because if if Unk Andrew, if Unk said I ain't bothered, but well, Unk saying I ain't bothered, Unk might know something. Unk might know the boy ain't got no dog on evidence. This boy ain't got no goddamn evidence. I hear any dog on street. And then, but but like my biggest problem was. They didn't say whether she went to, well, damn it, because Officer M Miles is an officer. Well, hell, she still could have went down to the police department and, well, hell, she went to the damn mayor, and the mayor is over the police department. Mm. That's deep, because I'm trying to say, like, like she didn't even go to the police. Technically, she went to the police because she went to the mayor. Damn. So she did her due diligence. Kind of, sort of, but not really. Kind of, sort of, but not really. Because she really didn't push. She really, really didn't push. And you can't tell me that I am going to handle this thing and next week we at meetings and the week after we at meetings. That means that you ain't handled nothing because he's still showing up. He's still showing up. Charges has has not been um, placed on him. And hell, if the woman say that she said, well, if this gets out, then it's gonna destroy everything. She was okay with Tiffany keeping it under the wraps. She was okay with it, with it as far as this right here. She was gonna let um, the mayor deal with it, get him out of office, or get him to stop being a trustee to remove him, but not let the public know he was being removed over sexual assault. So she was okay with the hush hush um accountability we gonna hold him accountable but we're gonna be hushed about it 
She was okay with that right now. Mm-hmm. Am I seeing this the wrong way? Can somebody help me out? Shout out to Sensei for the $5 super chat. They say, we told y'all this ish bigger than Nino Brown. Say, I mean, Tiffany here. you. I'm trying to tell you something now. I'm trying to tell you what. Listen, listen. I would have never thought that he would have been like the one. And this is our problem. Again, again, my bad. I fell short of glory. Got to be more careful. I push it past a player. I don't even know. That, damn it, but he wasn't even on my radar. Because I'm still thinking like, I didn't even think. I didn't even say to where like, it couldn't be him because yada, yada, yada. But damn it, it could it, damn it, it could have been everybody. Could have been everybody. And that's how I should have approached the situation. My bad, my bad. I have failed out here in the doggone screen. But anyway, moving right along. I ain't going to be much older. I got to take you out to the A. We're going to Atlanta. If y'all just not coming on in, we also streaming live on twitch.tv.com, the Willow Williams Show. Thank y'all for being over there right now. You say the sex was bad and she mad because Tiff didn't give her money raised for sex and pop pop. That's what <laughs> she didn't increase her pay. I think that there's a possibility that she gave him that um, monkey. I think she gave him that monkey. It is just so many people who is able to say, I blacked out. I don't remember anything. How everybody out here blacking out? And what drug is being used now? Ain't, ain't nobody told me what's being used. You say another blue pill store. Mm -mm -mm. Shout out to Don for being a member for 10 months. He say, I'm voting for Willie for president. That damn it, we should be out here running in just a minute. I, I think I'm going to try some. He say, Willie, the trustees has been trying to get rid of Andrew Holmes for years. The community don't like community activists out here in these streets. Oh, for real. I, I didn't know that they were trying to get rid of Buddy. I didn't know. Now, how you pronounce that dog on the. All right, you saying that. It's, it's the Bill Cosby pill. Oh, man. Vizine. Ropan. Is that how you pronounce it? Rofan. Rafinal. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Rafinal. No. Rafinal. Nah. Nope. Uh-uh. I can't get it. I can't get it. I'm not understanding. Hold up. Um, the road trip. Yada, yada, yada. Yep, so it's on its way. Right there. You got to break that word down. But you're talking about that. Rope, rope hip. Rope, row, hip, no. All right, hold up. Bam, bam, bam. Let me go on the say Rope and no. Ro Damn it. My bad. It's going to put up my bad. Don't, don't write that. Cancel. Damn it. Hold on, hold on. Rohypnol. Ropinol. Damn it. Rohypnol. All right, all right. Rohypnol. Wait, damn it. I'm going to get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it. What's, talking, what's wrong with my thing? I'm a G. Ropinol. It's still not good. Damn it. Rohypnol. Ro Ropinol. Ropinol. I think that's how you got it, right? Ro Ropinol. Ropinol. It's not working on my end. So you got to use your vowels. I'm trying. <laughs> we just going to leave right there, man. Damn it. Hold on. Should I t say rope? Hip no. Rohip no. Rohip no. Also known as Rohypnol, among other names, is a benzodiazepine used to treat severe insomnia and assist with anesthesia. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I said it right that time. Um it's a benzene, a benzodiazepine, a benzodiazepine. It's a thing. It's schedule five, a schedule four substance. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's being used out here on people. 
Say that Spanish fly. That's what's up. Rope and all. Yeah, you got to say it like you know what it is. Got that rope and all. You got to be careful. Be on the lookout for that rope and all. Yeah. Like I've been saying that thing for 30 years. You know, that rope and all, you got to be careful. You got to be careful with that rope and all because everybody can't take that rope and all. You know, you got to say it fast like you've been out here saying it forever. Bam. Um, a roofie. Oh, oh, well, why y'all didn't just say a ro roofie? I ain't never blacked out on no roof. I ain't never blacked out on no roof. Shout out to Big U for the two dollar super chat. You say it's roofing land. It's roofing, roofing land, roofy, like in the movie Hangover. Uh, yeah, that damn it. We used to pop roofies. You learn the hard way by the damn it. You don't take the whole thing. You take one fourth, and it'll let you ride for about three, four hours. Back in the day, we used to pop them shits and 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 drink thirty-two ounces. You know what I'm saying? So, eh, they used to call it, or I guess they still calling it, the date grape drug. But I'd be like, but it's a muscle relaxer. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I guess it used to relax your muscles, but I've never passed out, and I used to give them to myself. I used to try to take my own meat. <laughs> That's a shame, but anyway, shout out to the people who, um, shout out to the survivors. Shout out to the survivors. Moving right along, y'all ain't gonna eat much. Oh, dog, I gotta get through this stuff. Right here, we're going to the A. Hell, speaking of roofing off, we have a man who was accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting rideshare drivers. You got to ask yourself, how do you assault a rideshare driver other than physical, like beat them up assault, other than that right there? Yeah, I took advantage of myself. You know what I'm saying? Right now at 11, mm -hmm. police at work trying to figure out if a man accused of drugging, kidnapping, and sexually assaulting his Lyft driver has done it before. And how do you get an opportunity to drug your Lyft driver? How? His name is Demarcus Johnson. Check out this picture here, folks. He was captured. Look at Demarcus out here looking all handsome. He be out here trying to seduce them babies. But listen to the story. Go ahead. Just five days ago, following a weeks-long investigation led by detectives with the Alpharetta Police Department, 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live tonight from those headquarters right there off uh, Old Milton Highway with the next steps in this investigation. Cody? Ron and Jennifer Wild police are hoping Johnson has no more victims. They say the brazenness of this crime has detectives here behind me now turning to the public. A lift request on March 11th. The writer, Demarcus Johnson, who Captain Andrew Splon says requested a ride from his Snellville home over in Gwinnett County. You say he got them bedroom eyes. He in Snellville. Damn it, I used to be right. Go All on. en route to the restaurant. Uh, they engaged in casual conversation. Which then turned into grabbing a drink. And once they arrived at their destination, he invited her inside uh, to have a drink and continue the conversation. Captain Splon says the two stopped at... It was a ride, Shell. He talked her into, hey, hey, shout it. Let's go get some drinks real quick. At a second restaurant when, at some point. So we're talking a period of a couple hours. They believe Johnson slipped the victim a sedative. So you mean to tell me that the ride share driver didn't intend on working the rest of the day then? Absolutely alarming, and that's what the evidence leads us to believe. She stated that she experienced a blackout. Hours later. She woke up the following morning in an Alpharetta hotel. Um, had been sexually assaulted and the vehicle that she used to drive had been stolen after I got to back it up y'all I got to back it up because I don't I don't I don't like when they be doing stuff like this right here run it back arrived at their destination he invited her inside while en route to the restaurant uh, they engaged while in route to the restaurant so he called the lift take him to the restaurant casual conversation which then turned into grabbing a drink and once they arrived at their destination he once they arrived at the destination that he paid for he offered the person to come on in to have a few drinks invited her inside uh, to have a drink and continue the conversation captain spawn says the two stopped at a second restaurant when so she was drinking and driving to another restaurant go ahead 
At some point... So we're talking a period of a couple hours. They believe Johnson slipped the victim a sedative. It's absolutely alarming, and that's what the evidence leads us to believe. She stated that she experienced a blackout. Hours later... She experienced a blackout now. Woke up the following morning. And woke up the following morning. So you mean to tell me from the time that they made it to the second place to have more drinks, from there to the next morning, she have no remembrance. She woke up at a hotel... So he left her at the hotel and took a car. Some no so so the drug that's being used allows you to black out from the hotel from from the restaurant and then you got to get up and walk to the car and then you got to get out of the car to walk into the hotel room. What 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 is y'all doing? Alpharetta Hotel. Um, had been sexually assaulted and the vehicle that she used to drive had been stolen. After calling 911, this is a very unique case. Captain Splawn says they found the victim's vehicle back in Gwinnett County. Actually not too far from where the suspect resides. It wasn't until weeks later when the victim's sexual assault kit came back along with search warrants for credit card and lift receipts along with surveillance, detectives were able to identify their suspect. Yes, we were able to see him on uh, video surveillance footage from at least one restaurant and at the hotel okay so wait, wait wait so she did go to the police for credit card and lift receipts from where the suspect resides it wasn't until weeks later weeks. when the victim's sexual assault kit came back sexual assault kit came back sexual assault kit so she went in for the kit Shout out for going in for the kit, because y'all got to go in early, stop laying around. Along with search warrants for credit card and okay. lift receipts, along with surveillance, detectives were able to identify their suspect. Yes. So she peed on herself. So we were able to see him on uh, video surveillance footage from at least one restaurant and at the hotel. Now, tonight, Johnson is locked up. I asked uh, Captain Spawn if they had a chance to talk with him. They say they did give him an opportunity to give his side and to see if he's done this before, but he refused to cooperate. See, now, hold on. Shout out to T. Lee for the $2 Super Chat. He says, so she drove whilst blacked out. This is what I'm trying to... I don't get it. Y'all, now listen. I do understand that we can overdrink, and sometimes we have to be carried out of the bar. I do get that part right there. But if that right there happened, you had to be careful. Wait, wait. Where is the video footage from inside the bar? Bars have cameras. They do have cameras, especially in Atlanta. They have cameras, right? You say, Willie, he got her drunk first. Then at the hotel, he drugged her. So she was DUI on the way to the hotel, and she should be charged with DUI. That's a fact. She should be charged with DUI. Period, point blank. She decided to leave the first restaurant where they was drinking at to go to another one. That's DUI. But no, they're not going to hold her accountable for that because she was supposedly great. Now, they is basing the, the sexual assault kit on, well, for a great kit, they try to look for tears and damages and all that fly stuff right there to kind of show them that it was forced. Now, what if, what if that monkey would dry and it causes rips and stuff like that right there? A lot of us, we may like it rough. Huh? What if it was consensual, but it can show up as non-consensual? I wonder if any other lawyer have ever made that argument. What if it was consensual, but if it was dry, it's going to show like it was rough, like really, really rough um, sex. It's, it's going to show rips and all that, right? Abrasions and stuff because it's dry. You got to spit on it. You know what I'm saying? Huh? No lubricant or something like that. Well, ladies, this is just something that you all need to um, be... Be thinking about. Don't listen. Do your dog on job. I know. I know y'all saw him and um she she saw a player and player was handsome to her. You know what I'm saying? And the conversation was popping. You know, I know, baby, baby, baby. You ain't even got to continue to work the rest of the night, man. Listen, baby, show 
Come on, chill with the player. You know what I'm saying? I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm balling like that, Rayo. We can get a few drinks. I can get you a Casamigo or something like that. It's nothing. You know? She decided to put her work off and drink on the job. Mm-hmm. He said if she was drugged, all her muscles were relaxed. Unless she was dry, but they got lotion in them hotels in them small bottles in the bathroom. Yes. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You say, Willie, the police would have been called if this woman was carrying, uh, if this woman was carrying a pass out one. Well, if this per, if this man was carrying a pass out woman in a hotel, yeah, 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 right, right. The police should have been called if somebody saw a person carrying another person inside of a hotel room. And I wonder. I wonder which hotel this happened in because I would love to see how it's designed. Is it like you pull up and the door is right there or do you have to go inside the building like um like um the budget ends? You have to go inside the building and your rooms is inside the building. But at like the motels you pull up and your door is right there, you know what I'm saying? But um hell, it should be camera footage from the hotel too, right? Because I think that we need to be able to see her conditions. I don't like the way people just saying this happened to me and we went here and we went there. So, 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 so we're trying to tell that damn it. And if you go to trial, I hope the public pretender will request video footage. We got to see video footage because I want to see her driving. I want to see her. Walking fine and all that flash shit right there. In my mind, I think because the car was stolen. I think because the car was allegedly stolen. She had to put out a situation had not happen. And that's why her car was stolen. Which is still strange because she could have just said that this dude I hooked up with, he stole my damn car. You know what I'm saying? So like it like she really didn't even have to make up a story you know i don't i don't know i don't know maybe it's true maybe it's not they say i want to see the drug screening also exactly exactly we have to stop um we have to stop believing women we have to pay attention to the evidence we should be evidence-based and if y'all can't come up with enough evidence Yo bad. Yo bad. For real, for real. He say, oh, what she's selling monkey too and was mad. Ooh. She see, and that's a possibility too. He said, call Lyft and they wanted eighty eight dollars to go twenty four miles. Jeez. Uh. Ooh, boy, they stamping. It really is stamping people out here in these dog on the street. Listen, man, give y'all a pat on the back. Y'all made it to the end of the midday news, man. I hope that y'all were entertained. I hope that y'all enjoyed this right here. But we finna go on around here to rumble, rumble.com, the Willie Williams Show, and kick.com, the Willie Williams Show. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all tell somebody about the player. Shout out to everybody who is also on twitch.tv.com, the Willie Williams Show. We still trying to grow. We still trying to grow. You say, Willie, I sent you a story about two darker hue babies, but one got knocked off for playing mm. i'm gonna have to look it up i'm gonna have to look it up because i went through so many i spent like an hour going through so many emails and so many videos i done looked at so many doggone video i'm like jesus i got a lot i got a lot to work with i got a lot to work with but luckily we do shows twice a day we do shows twice a day so we'll be able to get in a whole bunch of this news hopefully i will be able to finish all these things i wrote down today I should be able to finish them. I should be able once we go around here to rumble. Because we showing up in the run through a whole bunch of news when we go around here to rumble. Listen, man, play us. Prostate cancer awareness around here at the Willie Williams Show. Say so it's just a finger. So your prostate don't work, your meat don't work. Mess around and lose your la la and or your life is your choice. You make the call. Your body 
yo booty i am here to help yes i am yes i'm is man listen i appreciate y'all for rocking with a player we finna go around here to rumble rumble.com the willow show the link is down there in the description um rumble starts at one o'clock i'm out of here man